Hey class, Mr. McCarvel here. The goal for today is to have you guys finish up this whole packet. So in class, we took some time, we went through the individual scales, we talked about how to break down the scale, remembering that this is just a one foot ruler broken down and uh, uh, you guys get to go from there and figure out what each line is equal to. In the quarter inch scale, it was equal to one inch. So it's smart to put that somewhere on your paper, whether it's here or over here, uh, doesn't really matter. We got to work through uh, one eighth and one half, and then I kind of gave you guys time to work on your own. So we wanna make sure that one, for every scale, we know what uh, each mark is equal to, and we wanna be able to measure five lines, all five lines with that scale. Now, as we get into the bigger numbers, they get more detail in here, so we gotta break it down. The cool thing is, because there's more detail, they let you know uh, where some of the marks are, at three inches, six inches, nine inches. So, uh, so that's what we got. Then we get to the very last two pages, the front and back. This is what we're gonna talk about today, because it won't make any sense unless we, we kind of work through. So. Like we talked about, scaling is taking full-size objects and making them proportionally smaller. Here is our 10 scales right along the side here. And uh, ratio, which it talks about on this page, is how many times smaller uh, that scale makes it. So that is what we're gonna focus on. Now it says formula is dot, dot, dot. So this is what you guys want to write down, okay? We got our number times x equals 12. So the number is our scale. So that would be three inches is a scale, one and one half is a scale, one inch is a scale, three quarters is a scale. That's the number we would plug in for number. The x is our unknown, that is our answer when we solve for x, we have figured this out. And 12 is in reference to 12 inches and one foot. So for example, one quarter of an inch is equal to one foot. So we have our scale times, our answer essentially is equal to one foot. So one quarter times x equals one foot. Now we're gonna do a few of these together and then you guys will be able to finish the rest up on your own. So we'll start with the first one on the list. We just go from largest to smallest. Uh, we get three is our scale times x equals 12. All right, so algebra says if we want to solve for x, we got to get all the numbers on the other side. So we're going to divide by three. It's going to cancel over there. But what we do to one side of the equation, we get to do the other x is equal to 12 over 3. You can punch that in your calculator if you need to, and you're going to figure out x is equal to 4. Makes sense. 3 times 4 equals 12. So when we use the 3 inch is equal to 1 foot scale, it is 4 times smaller than real life. We shrink it down 4 times to get it where we want it to be. All right, let's try another one. So there's your first freebie. Uh, let's go down to the next one. One and one half is equal to one foot. So we take one and one half times x equals 12. Again, we divide on one side, one and a half. We do it on the other. X is by itself. We take 12 divided by one half. You guys got your calculator, we just punch that in. Remember one half is 0.5, and you're gonna find out that x equals eight. So when we use this scale, one and one half is equal to one foot, now we're eight times smaller than we normally would be. All right, but Mr. McCarvel, what do we do if it's just a fraction? Like three quarters of an inch, is equal to, sorry, is equal to one foot. So we take three quarter x is equal to 12. 
All right, so when you just have a fraction, what you gotta do is multiply by the reciprocal. What that means is to get three over four out of there, we gotta multiply it by four over three. These guys will cancel because we each have one on the top and one on the bottom. These guys will cancel because we got one on the top and one on the bottom. And what we end up with is x is equal to 12 times four divided by three. Now from here, whatever math process you want to do, if you want to multiply these two and then divide, that's fine. If you want to cancel out and then multiply, that's fine. But if you punch this in, you're going to find that x is 16 times smaller than actual size when we're using the three quarter inches equal to one foot scale. So your job for the remaining seven is just punch in what we have for our scales and uh, come up with the correct ratio. So that's what we have on that page. So remember, write this down on your page. And then uh, when we get back in class, we'll give you the answer key. We'll let you grade yourselves. Uh, and we'll get these in the grade book. Now we got our last page here, and even on top, it says practice quiz. This is what your quiz is gonna look like. The only thing different on your actual quiz is these guys will be scrambled as far as the scales in an order, and your lines will be in different lengths. So it's more about the format of this, and I'll explain why we do it this way. So you have columns A, B, C, and D. And we'll give you some free answers here, too. All right. So uh, for question number one, it gives us the scale. It says three quarters of an inch is equal to one foot. Column A says record the length of the line given in feet, whole numbers only. So what you guys get to do is you're going to measure line number one to three quarters of an inch is equal to one foot. We're gonna measure that out and we are going to put that foot mark in A. I'm gonna pause the video so I can grab my scale to give you guys actual answers. All right, we're back, I got it. So for column A, we measure that line, three quarters of an inch is equal to one foot and hopefully you guys come up with the answer of Five feet. We should have five feet. Now, if you measured it out and you saw 18, remember that is the information coming from the other side of the scale, and we want to just make sure we're using our side. For column B, it says record the length of the line at the given scale in inches after the foot mark. So after five feet, how many inches do we have? We measure that. Hopefully you guys are measuring along with the video. And I came up with six and one half inches. So that line is five feet, six and one half inches in three quarter inches equal to one foot scale. Now column C says record the smallest unit of measurement for the designated scale. That may sound kind of weird, but you've actually already done it before. What it's talking about is this guy right here in this scale, what is the measurement from zero to this very first line. What is that distance? So I'm sure you guys already did this. Uh, you know this is zero, you know your very end is 12. It's just a 12 inch ruler. And you guys know that each little line is equal to one half of an inch. So for column C, it's all about these pictures and what the unit of measurement is when it gets down to it. And then finally, column D uh, says, list how many times smaller the scale is compared to actual size. That is what we actually just did with this one right here. So with our ratios. So how many times smaller is it? Now, if you already did this page, sure, you could just go ahead and copy the answers down to column D and you'd have the right answer and that's great. But on the quiz, Remember, you're going to have to come up with these answers. 
So if you don't memorize every single one, it's good to redo it with the formula to make sure uh, you're getting that repetition so it stays in your head. Now that was one that we did as an example as well. So again, it is number times X equals 12, three quarters times X equals 12. We got four over three, four over three. And again, X is gonna equal 16, 12 times four, 48 divided by three, three goes into 48, 16 times. So for column D, all we need to do, right? 16 times, 16 X is what it's referring to. So you guys are gonna go through, you are going to measure out the rest of these lines. You're gonna mark this off, just the feet in column A, just the inches after the foot in column B. Column C is the smallest unit of measurement. Going off of the pictures, column D is what we learned today with the uh, ratio, how many times smaller it is. So that is your assignment today. Show evidence that you guys did this uh, as far as attendance goes by working on this and taking a picture of what you did. That way I can mark you present in class. Uh, I'm around all day, so email if you got a question and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in class soon.